Do you need to capture your action or life to the max? Or do you just wanna be on like the more hero side of cameras? Look folks, I've gotta get my puns quota in somehow and we're gonna get through these videos together, I promise. The GoPro Hero 8 Black versus the GoPro Max. Which would work better to create your own online content or even your own home action videos? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. At first glance, I get it, at first glance, these don't actually look like two comparable cameras. I mean, look at them. They look so much different. One is a more traditional style action camera with all the accoutrement of that staple pioneered by GoPro. The other is a 360 degree camera, which in all fairness, they've been moving in on the action camera world the last couple of years with things like the GoPro Fusion, but in reality, it's been more companies like Insta360 One that have created some fantastically easy to use software to transfer that 360 degree sphere into more palatable resolutions. That software is really the headlining feature today because in action or in vlogging or in traveling in general, it's much easier to have a camera placed in one spot and have that one device be able to be used to cut up into a whole bunch of different angles or options. So long story long, Yes, it's an apple to orange comparison device wise, but an apple to slightly different apple for use wise. Make sense? Well, either way, we're doing it. As these are action cameras, we here on The Everyday Dad, we have a very specific criteria for judging them. Oh, and we will be judging them. We call these criteria of judgment, the pillars, the pillars of, of action. 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 I, I thought I was gonna get a, a knock from the up door, from the upstairs neighbors. First up, decent video quality. And here right off the bat is the big difference in the two cameras. The GoPro Hero 8 Black can record up to 4K 60 frames per second and 2.7K at 120 frames per second and 1080p at 240 frames per second. So you get lots of options for both regular recording and slow motion. The Hero Max has two video modes, the 360 mode where, like we said, it records in a big sphere that exports in 5.6K. But really quickly, you don't get all five of those Ks. Don't look at these two cameras and say, well, the Hero 8 only records in 4K and the Max does 5K. That's like, that's like a whole additional K. The 5.6K coming out of the Max is actually a 6K sphere they stitch together and render in camera as 5.6K final product. So when you drill down even more and use their over capture software to reframe later, it's more like 1080p. Clarification rant, the clarification over. And the second video mode for the Max is called Hero Mode. GoPro Hero. And that lets you record in 1080p or 1440, which is a four by three ratio from either lens. It lets you do that from either lens, but only up to 60 frames per second, which Yes, the more expensive camera has way less video resolution slash frame rate options. And honestly, that's the biggest negative against the Max. It's unique as heck. And like we'll see here in a moment, it has some awesome image quality, but it's sorely lacking in actual video modes. And I'd go so far as to say a shocking lack of video modes. You know, it's serious when you say shocking. One of the benefits it does have field of view wise on the Max is you get the super view Max mode. Everything is Max today, which is crazy wide angle. And I do like to say in these videos that super view is the king when doing any kind of like fast paced action. Now, the Hero 8 Black does have super view, but according to GoPro, the Max super view is like more to the max, we're in the 90s. However, in a perfect world, what I would like out of the GoPro Max, I wish it had at least 2.7K in the hero mode and at least 120 frames per second. Now I get it that there are more processing demands on the camera and I'm willing to give up the 4K 60, I'm willing to give up the 1080p 240, but 1080p on a camera this expensive, that's pretty meh. But straight up image quality wise, coming out of both cameras, they do look really darn good. And honestly, I'm hard pressed to tell the actual difference between the two in a straight up side by side comparison between the 4K on the Hero 8 Black and the 1080p on the Hero Max. And that's when I'm, that's when I'm comparing on my Retina display on my brand new MacBook Pro 16 inch. It's got a beautiful display. And even on that high end display, I cannot tell the difference. And if I cannot tell the difference there, I promise you that you all, y'all, watching this after it's been rendered through Final Cut Pro X and then uploaded and compressed onto YouTube, I would guarantee that you will not be able to see a resolution difference. The difference you might see, and I do think there is a slight difference in the image quality we'll see throughout this video, but that's gonna come down to how the auto white balance, because I had these both set to auto white balance for the entirety of this video, how the individual camera decided to balance each specific shot. 
but for like straight up resolution image IQ wise, I can't tell the difference. Image quality is half of the video quality battle. I consider image and audio when I think about video. And especially if this is gonna be an all-in-one action or travel solution for you, audio quality is very darn important. And both of these cameras actually capture pretty nice sounding vocals if used as a vlogging camera or an environmental camera. If you're trying to capture the environment, it sounds great. I mean, look at this. This has, the GoPro Max has gigantic speakers on all sides of this camera. The GoPro Hero 8 Black also has a huge microphone right under the lens. And I do find, even though this has more microphones, I find the audio capture better on the Hero 8 Black. I mean, the Hero 8 Black is the absolute best sounding vocals I've ever seen on an action camera. And the fact that it's waterproof while being able to do this is another shocking fact. I mean, the Hero Max is fine, but I find it to be more like the Hero 7 Black, which does have a slightly muffled quality to it, even though, again, it's amazing that they could engineer waterproof cameras that could let the sound in through their sealed gaskets. Like, however they were able to do this, well done, GoPro engineers. And really quickly, since we're talking about the image and the audio, let's go out on a hike in progress and do a quick vlogging test of the two cameras. <laughs> Okay, and welcome to the vlogging test of the GoPro Hero 8 and the GoPro Max. Max 8, 8, Ma I don't know. For some reason, as I, as I did the jump, I'm, I think there's a TV show idea in there. Like, I think there's the title of a TV show in there, but I'm not smart enough to think of one. So we're going to start the vlogging test, but what I want you to pay attention to right off the bat is I'm going to be doing this in 4K, and I'm going to be doing this in 1080p because this doesn't do 4K. And I, want, I don't want to do the overcapture because if you're using it as a vlogging camera, it's going to be tough. But I want you to let me know. Let me know in the comments if you can even tell a difference between the 1080p and the 4K. Beep, beep. It was already going. I just made the beeping sound. So, whoa. Okay, this is the vlogging test of the two cameras, the GoPro Hero Max and the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now, something that I've noticed over the last few days of using both cameras is the stabilization of the GoPro Max is insane. It is crazy. It is probably, as I'm falling over these trees right here, it is probably the best stabilization I've ever had seen on a camera. Like, it is crazy. I'm sure I've already shown you like clips of me running with it where it is straight stable. Like, there is no problem with the camera at all. Like, it's, it's nuts. It is, I know we're talking about the stabilization a lot and there's a whole section that's gonna be dedicated to the stabilization here in a little bit, but like for vlogging, it has the horizon leveling. So even when we're in hero mode right now, and what hero mode is, is where it uses one of the lens instead of the other lens. So you see we've got both lenses, but in hero mode, it only uses one as opposed to the other. So you can actually switch between the two. And in hero mode, it does 1080p. How's that light looking behind you? We have these set to the exact same settings, except the 4K, like I mentioned earlier. The audio is coming straight out of both cameras. I've also found the audio on both cameras to be mm, amazing. The microphone here, let me show you the microphone. Can you see that? The microphone on the, nope, there's a shadow. The microphone on the, uh, the GoPro Max is gigantic. I mean, look, the one on the Hero 8 is big too, but it's not the same. It's not the same, but yeah, this is the vlogging test. I do think either camera would be fantastic as a vlogging camera. The big difference, obviously, is the GoPro Hero Max. If you're using the Hero mode, you've got the front facing screen, so you can frame yourself, you can see your exposure, and it does work really well. Like. I gotta be honest, I started off, I was kinda, like the Hero 8 I do think is good. Do I think it's good enough to recommend over the Hero 7? I've, you've seen my video, I think the Hero 8 is a fine camera, but it's not really an action camera. The Hero Max I think is actually, like as we're out here vlogging, I think it's the better vlogging camera. I really do, the stabilization's great, the 1080p, yeah, whatever. Um, but the image quality's never like the best you're gonna get on an action camera, but man. That screen really helps out. Okay, that's enough jaw jacking at the camera. I'm gonna go back and continue my hike out here on this gorgeous day. It's, be it's beautiful out here. This is like the best day we've had in weeks. So I'm excited to get back out here on the trail. You go back to the studio and then we'll be back out here to talk in just a minute. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the video quality of these guys. Like these are, f the video quality is great. Next up at the pillars is my, is the most important one, durability. An action camera is only as good as its ability to survive that action, straight up. If you are an action camera that can't take a hit, you might as well bring a cell phone. 
I mean, when I say you, I mean me. Like, why would I not just use my iPhone instead of paying extra for one of these cameras? So durability is the single most important aspect of an action camera because frankly, the only reason that I don't use my cell phone is I don't wanna break it. And physically, both the Hero 8 Black and the Hero Max are made of very similar materials. They are both waterproof without a case and have very robust frames and structures to ensure even a drop or fall won't put it out of commission. Heck, I've got a video breaking one of the GoPro Hero 7 variants and it took a heck of a lot of punishment and it actually, even after we beat the crap out of it and it just like shattered, it never stopped recording video. So GoPros are tough but I am gonna give the durability to the Max for one major reason. Both of these cameras have lenses that don't have removable lens covers. The Hero 8 does have a lens protector, but honestly, why even have it since if this gets scratched or broken, it's basically the same thing as breaking the lens on the Hero Max. Why I'm giving this to the Max is simple. Included in the box at no extra fee are two sets of protectors for the lenses. You get like a travel plastic cap and you get actual see-through caps. You can put them on and take them off if you're gonna be in an action environment, and that's huge. That's huge. You might say, everyday dad, you're being too hard on the eight, and you could buy an additional protector and cover the glass that way. Yes, I absolutely could, but that's an extra cost. These protectors with the Max are not an additional cost. That is a cost incurred by GoPro putting it with them. And so they are incurring the risk of damaging their design. They're not making us go out of pocket and pay for the cost of the risk through their design on the Hero 8 Black. Like this, you don't have to agree with me, but my mind isn't changing on this. GoPro should include some way to protect this lens straight out of the box. They did it on the Max, they should do it here too. And the next pillar is ease of use. If you are creating quick and consistent content or you're on a mountain bike in the back country, you need a camera that can be easily and reliably used. So let's rejoin Happy Ted. You see how happy he was being outside? I let him outdoors once. And let's join him outdoors again while he's happy to discuss ease of use. They both have the same GoPro menu system. They both have the same GoPro like user interface. The GoPro Hero Max does have less like options than the Hero 8 Black but they are very similar in ease of use. There's two big differences in ease of use between the two cameras. One, like we already talked about during the vlogging test, the Hero Max has this gigantic screen in the front, so if you are vlogging, if you are recording something while you are in front of the camera, it is much easier to make sure that you get it right because you've got that gigantic screen. One of the things that GoPro did with the Hero 8, and it looks like they kind of have it activated on the Max, but I can't find a way to add them, is very quick menu profiles. So I've been using these out and about for running and hiking, all that, and when you're out doing action, you don't necessarily want to beep, 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 scroll to this setting, scroll to this setting, scroll to this setting. We generally have what, like three or four big settings that we always use. And on the Hero 8, it's really easy to switch between the two. You just turn it on, flip, 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 you're done. When you have a camera like the Hero Max, you do have to go into each individual setting, then you have to change the resolution, you have to change the frame rate, which is nice because as we already talked about in image quality, there are way less resolutions on the Max than the 8, so that, that makes it easier, right? But I do think that the overall ease of use, minus the screen, this screen helps out an awful lot. Don't let me, like I'm not trying to say it doesn't, but I do think the quick menu settings on the Hero 8, especially if you're gonna be using this as an action camera, you're gonna be using it as an out and about camera, the Hero 8 is much easier to use. Oh great, hooray, we're back to the humdrum of the indoors. I love hiking. The next pillar is important, but it's one that doesn't really apply evenly here, as they are both two different styles of cameras. So my video was thwarted by my own comparison structure. Curse you, uh, me? Compatibility with GoPro style mounts and accessories. Both cameras are GoPros and both are totally new body designs from the company. The Max is smaller and more compact than its predecessor, the Fusion, and the 8 is taller than the Hero 7. So neither of these has an advantage of being able to use a pre-existing ecosystem of cages or frames or anything like that. So they're basically starting over from scratch. Now, I will say that each of them has the built-in mounting bracket system that I do think adds a single point of failure to the camera breakability-wise. I absolutely love these for convenience. Like. Oh, I love them. And on the Hero Max, it, it does look like an easier operation to change them if they do get broken. So yeah, quick section, which is awesome because we've got more exciting stuff to cover. And the final, but the really like the one that GoPro really brought to the overall market and continues to refine like every single, they impress me every single time, stabilization. So right now, again, we're on both cameras and I figured the best way to talk about stabilization 
is to show it to you, right? How novel. So the GoPro Hero 8 Black has what GoPro calls their Hyper Smooth 2.0 stabilization. And you get a lot of different options with it. You can do their normal mode, their boost mode, their high mode. Um, I find that the boost really adds like a warp to it. So I don't really ever use the boost, but it's, it's okay. Um, the Max actually has Hyper Smooth Max and it uses that, it uses all of the data that it's got and it can actually do like horizon leveling, which gives you like crazy stabilization that hopefully you can see right now. It's insane. It's, the stabilization is crazy. Look, let's run, let's run on the trail. I mean, it's nuts, right? I can't see it, you can see it, but if it's like it was when I was out running the other day, it's crazy. Right? It's, it's insane. It's insane. Okay. But at the end of the day, so what, right? If you were looking for a do-it-all outside camera, which of these two should you get? If GoPro puts 2.7K and 120 frames per second on the max, this will be the perfect outside camera. Hands down, the stabilization is insane. The image quality is great, and the front-facing screen is very, very useful. But it's 2019, and it's hard to ask somebody to pay $500 for a 1080p camera when you could go buy an iPhone 11 for $700 and get much more and many more usable video features. However, if we're talking about like today, the day the video is released, I think the GoPro 8 right now is the better outdoor camera. It comes with more functionality for video, better slow motion, a little bit better audio. And while it is expensive for an action camera, it's more reasonably priced than the Max. The one thing I will say though, if you get the GoPro Hero 8, you, until GoPro remedies this, we'll have to buy some kind of screen protector for this because you don't want to lose the whole camera because it gets scratched. But I do recommend this if you are looking for an all-in-one camera. It actually is pretty good. And if you liked this video, I bet you'd actually like to see the video of the unboxing of the GoPro Max where we talk about all the fancy things that come with it. Click here to join in on the fun. Click, 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 click. We really need to come up with a clicking song or something. Thanks for watching.